Good morning, everyone. Uh, today is July 1. Today is the first day of the AKA Scarecrow Project mini documentaries. One thing I want you to remember is at times in these videos, there are moments of silence because sometimes silence speaks louder than words. So, uh, you know, as you're watching them, don't adjust your sound, don't adjust your volume, just watch the videos, enjoy them. And uh, without further ado, the AKA Scarecrow Project. Music. Someone once asked me, they said, what, what is music to you? And I said, music is like a journey you're on, and you know you're never going to find what you're looking for. But you still continue to look, even though you know you're not going to get where you're going. So, uh, you know, it's, it's like a motorcycle ride or something. It's more about the journey, not about the destination. My name is Jason. I am the bass player in the AKA Scarecrow Project. What brought the current band together was, I, I got a call last April or March in, in 2022 and I got a call from Travis and he said hey we, we got something going up here if you want to come up and play we'd really like you and about a month month and a half later you know we finally got together and we started rocking What got me into playing music was I was probably 11 years old and we moved to town and we got cable television for the first time and that was my first time seeing MTV. Now I had listened to hard rock and stuff like that because my older brothers listened to all that growing up. It was, you know, a lot of 80s metal, a lot of 80s rock and pop and new wave. Uh, but I turned on MTV and for the first time I seen bands like Motley Crue and Twisted Sister, Kiss, and I decided that's kind of what I wanted to try to do. The type of music we play is, it, it's a mixture. We kind of keep it a little bit more on the rock side to keep everything in the same genre. But we, we pull influencers from everywhere and we try to do everything our own way. One of my biggest musical influences was probably Randy Rhodes. I, I know I'm a bass player. But, you know, everybody starts somewhere, and I originally started on the guitar. And Randy Rhodes, Mick Mars from Motley Crue, J.J. French from Twisted Sister, uh, Zach Wild. I, I mean, the list goes on and on, but it, it was a lot of Aussie guitar players, Kirk Hammett, James Hetfield, you know, a, a lot of hard rock. And... Uh, eventually things changed you know I, I got into more alternative I got into even heavier stuff and uh, but my main influence is Randy Rhodes JJ French uh, Mick Mars
some funny stories of shows we have played along the way. Uh, one time we were playing in Pittsburgh, opening for a band called Creep. And the first song we were going to start with was Hey Man, Nice Shot by Filter. And I, the bass player, am supposed to start that song. And here I am in front of this big, huge crowd of people, and I'm looking at Sean, and Sean, and, and I'm, I'm looking at Sean, and I'm saying, "Go ahead and start it. Go ahead and start it." He looks at me and he says, "No, man, you start it." I said, "Go ahead and start it." <laughs> Eventually, I ended up starting the song. The gear I am currently using to play is, uh, for the past 20 some odd years, I've been playing an Ibanez SRX 705. Uh, I have a few I use in different tunings. Uh, use one in E, one in half step down, and one in C. I usually pump that through an, an old school PV410 TV X cabinet. And I'm currently using a newer PV Mini Max bass head. Uh, the tweeter in the cabinet is is important because it's a lot of my sound. Uh, it, it's a good combination. It all works together. It works good for what we do. Very excited to be playing at Rock in the Mountains. This is one of our first times as the AKA Scarecrow Project in Allegheny County and in the Cumberland region. Uh, we've been trying, but sometimes things just don't line up. But this time the stars aligned and we were able to get booked for the show. And we are very excited to be playing this show.